There. That wraps up another fine month at Nellendil Plastics. According to my calculations, looks like we came out just over even. Oh, again? Hey, at least we haven't gone under in a while. Remember what happened two years ago? <sighs> Darius, why didn't you just sell the company when you first inherited it? I, I mean, I know, it's been in the Nellendil line for generations. But it's not really doing anything for us, you know? We're barely staying afloat. Every other month you say that same thing, and every other month I tell you how much of a hassle it would be to get yeah. rid of it. Who wants to buy a plastics company in Australia these days? Well, you could just let it go. Let it go? What about all the workers, Brenda? Over half of them are family and friends. Who knows what would happen to them if we shut the place down? They're depending on us. I understand that, Darius. We're not doing too shabby, but I feel like we aren't going anywhere at all. We're at a standstill. I thought we wanted to go on adventures and travel the world, live it up. This is nothing like the life we talked about when we were dating. I... You're right. But, look, I guess it, it's enough for me. Being with my loving husband is what really matters. Doing something we know and sort of love. Helping family and friends, that sort of thing. Like, it, it is what it's all about. Oh, well put. Hmm. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, just warming you up for next month when I'll have to talk you into keeping the company. <laughs> you will, won't Yeah, you? every time. Hey, boss. This hot shot guy is here to see you. Calls himself Ned Bevy. Ned Bevy? The Ned Bevy. Internationally renowned billionaire. Mm-hmm. What on earth is he doing here? No idea, but he's waiting for you in the office. Oh, hi. Darius L. Brenda S. Nellendil. What a pleasure to finally meet the two of you in person. Surely the pleasure is all ours, Mr. Bevy. Um, <clears throat> uh, what brings you here this evening? Well... I can taste success from a mile away. I can see it in the sound of your voice. I can hear it in your fingertips and smell it in the look on your face. I want to partner with you. I'll be acquiring your business. Kaboom! Now, now, now. Nothing will really change. Your current workers can stay. But I'll be adding some of my own. Then everybody's getting a pay raise. Even you two. I'm already in talks with five different companies around the world who want their goods packaged by you. We'll ship faster and further and make loads more money. You have the awesome factory. I have the wealthy connections. Together, we're going places. We'll be unstoppable. Your names, your faces, your plastics will be everywhere. What do you say, huh? I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Why Why us? Why now? Why not? Opportunity knocks at the strangest of times. The question is, will you open the door? Your destiny lies right in front of you. Only a signature away. Can we think about this for a second? Sure. Kaboom! Seconds up. <laughs> um, uh... uh... Don't worry. It's not like you're signing your lives away or anything. <laughs> Even if you were. Tell you what. I'll give you 31 days to rescind. Consider it a free trial. If you don't like the lavish lifestyle, private jets, luxury vacations, and boatloads of extra cash laying around, you can cancel any time before the month is out. Private jets? Luxury vacations. Deal. Deal. <laughs> Brenda, Darius, you two are on a roll. We've made deals with seven companies across the globe and have already shipped all their orders out. I think you both deserve a little vacay. Yes! Private Island, here we come. Oh, that island was so great. I've never gone anywhere more beautiful in my entire life. Me either. I don't think I've ever gone anywhere less beautiful than this place coming up. Why are you taking us here? The storms forced us to take a detour. Those islands you see are not part of any resort. 
The native people are victims of much pollution. Oh no! Look at the water! There's so much litter! Oh, the poor little fishies! The animals oh. are choking! Are the children oh. drinking from that oh. water? Hey, don't drink from that! They have no other choice. It's their only source of water. The, the litter is tangled up in the trees! It's in all the plants! It's everywhere! Brenda? Is that our logo? Well, oh no. Darius, you're right. That means we're responsible for this. Yeah, we're the ones who sent all this <sighs> junk over here. Uh, I feel so bad about everything. I wish we could take it all back. Maybe we aren't able to reverse what we've already done, but we simply cannot allow this to continue. We have to stop making plastics at once. <laughs> How on earth are we going to do that? We've already made big deals with several large companies. We've signed contracts. We did, didn't we? <sighs> no matter. It's okay. Let's change up our company a bit. We can tell Mr. Bevy about everything we saw. He'll understand. Really? Yeah, totally. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's going to be happy about being dropped by seven big companies. No, he won't get dropped. We'll just tell him and the big companies and they'll change everything, no problem. We'll, we'll start a green movement. We can research how to be more sustainable and eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. Then we'll make better packaging and everyone's happy. Uh, I don't know. Are they going to buy that? Of course they will, Brenda. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. Products all are causing lots of pollution all the time. It's children. all over. Hey, whoa, whoa, hold it, hold it, hold on, people. One at a freaking time. Jeez. Uh, sorry. I mean, we mean... Um, Our products are causing lots of pollution all over the world. We're killing little fish. The plastic is choking animals. They're getting all tangled up in plants. It's all over. Littering the island people's land and their only water source. The children were playing in it. Children! There's plastic it's everywhere. everywhere. Plastic everywhere. Isn't that what you always wanted? Well, yeah, that was before we saw the destruction we were causing. Now we just wish we could make all the plastic disappear. Well, we already have seven deals made. Contracts. Money. Yeah, I know, but that was the other part of the plan. We tell the seven companies that we're revising a bit. Yeah, on the way back, we researched some ways to manufacture eco-friendly packaging in a sustainable way. Uh, it turns out it's totally doable. It'll just take a little more time and money, that's all. Right. The factory will only need a couple more million dollars from you and a few months of shutdown to upgrade our equipment and mm. train the workers on the new processes. After that, we'll be back up and running like absolutely nothing's changed. Plus, it's only the 30th and you said we had until the 31st to oh. rescind, so we're technically still in compliance? Yeah, and guess what? We aren't even really cancelling. We're only trying to take the business into a new direction, you know? Hmm. Sounds like you two got it all figured out, eh? You did all your research and really thought things through. <sighs> a new direction. I love it. <sighs> Let's make this official and have you sign the... Oh, man. You know what? The papers aren't here. <laughs> I had them shipped to my important paper private island where I keep all my important papers. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. It's right between my priceless collectible action figure private island and my expensive sports car private island. So it won't take us very long at all to get there if we head out now. Want to take the penumbra? Is that the luxury yacht you and your billionaire friends meet on all the time? That's the one. On the way, we can discuss those sustainability plans of yours. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Lovely. <laughs>